So here we're demonstrating automatic detection and notification of path holes on roads to aid drivers, means to provide the guidance to the drivers. So here uh, this system consists of one SR04 ultrasonic sensor to detect the path holes and uh, IR sensor to detect the humps and whenever these two provide the alerts our microcontroller 16F8 7 a will send the message alert to the predefined stored number along with the location and at the same time it will inform to this ESP32 camera so in this version we are using high resolution ESP32 camera so which will capture the images and store the images in the memory card so coming to the path hole detection so whenever the uh, distance is more than 10 centimeters for demonstration purpose we kept the limit as a 10 centimeters whenever the distance is more than 10 centimeters then it will consider as a path hole and our microcontroller will take a decision to send the message alert and inform to the ESP32 camera as well as so called message displayed on the LCD continuously the same manner like IR sensor also whenever the IR sensor will detect the obstacle so as we can see that IR sensor and ultrasonic sensor has a two separate modules. So in this one the transparent one is the IR transmitter and the black one is IR receiver. In this also uh, this side is a transmitter and this one is the receiver. So the respective modules will transmit the respective waves. Coming to the IR, IR transmitter uh, will IR transmit the IR rays and ultrasonic sensor will transmit the ultrasonic waves. So any obstacle is there in front of those then the surface of this object will reflect the transmitted rays and that will be received by the receiver module and that will be informed to the microcontroller based on that receiving signal it will send them alerts so we have interfaced the IR sensor at C0 pin of our microcontroller and E2 E1 for the ultrasonic sensor and D6 D7 D6 for the ESP32 camera D7 for the GPS module B0 B1 for the GSM module and the next LCD H pin number B22 B7 and the relay we have interfaced at C7 pin of our microcontroller. So here the whole system uh, getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp battery. So here we can see that 12 volt 1 amp battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp and this is the main power source to the this one is a GSM module and a GPS ESP32 camera and SR04 ultrasonic sensor and IR sensor and PIC 16 f 877 a 16 by 2 LCD screen and this is the relay electromagnetic relay which is used to control the vehicle movement and uh, whenever the object uh, uh, provide the abnormality from the sensors then the relay will stop for one second and send the message alerts and capture the image and then it starts keep on moving and one more extra component we can see that this is the LM2596 so in this version we are using this to provide the uninterrupted power supply for the systems whenever the high power consumption was occurred from the modules so it will handle up to 2.5 amps so that we won't get any heating problems while demonstration so let us see the demonstration before on the kit the first step is check the memory card and format that and insert as I shown so this is the inserting way right and the next insert a valid sim card better to use ATL sim card or VI so you should have the like a uh, sim adapter also no? and uh, place it in this one so if you are using bigger sim card insert into this the door and if you are using nano sim card right inside the notch should be this side right and now on the power supply so if you are demonstrating the project under the roof you won't get the location values live location 0 0 only you will get that if you demonstrate under the sky view then you will get the live location values from the GPS directly just on the power supply so wait till the welcome message will be occurred the robot keeps start moving so if you won't get the SMS after switch on the kit after 5 to 6 seconds just reset the system this is the reset switch you can see that this is the reset switch just press and release now if any abnormal input to the sensors there is a blinking on the ESP32 camera we can see that means it's capturing the images and that will be stored inside the memory card 
at the same time we will get the message alert right harm detection this is received okay same for the path hole also if the distance is less than uh, greater than the 10 centimeters right again it's capturing the photos alert path message will be there so while demonstration so we can see the this particular led will blinks in faster manner now it is blinking very fast of this and on wait till this particular green led blinks for slow reading when it is blinking slow read then only it got the signal and it can send the message alerts to the mobile number otherwise we should check the sim whether it was inserted properly or not Now we can observe that the green LED is blinking slowly. Now the SIM card was conducted to the GSM modem properly. Now we can see the messages. So now it's capturing the photos. We got the message right now. And if it is greater than the 10 centimeters again. We got the one more message. Okay, harm detection and path hole detection. So, like in this manner, we are going to get the message alerts till you switch off the power supply to this vehicle. Coming to the photos monitoring now, right now, to check the images of the power supply and eject the sim card from this esp32 camera push to unlock push to lock mark now place that in the laptop check that right now insert the sim card sorry memory card to a laptop so we got these images so previously so these are the images for testing So these are the images we have received while uh, the so called bump or a path was detected. So you can format these images and again reinsert to the ESP32 camera. Done. Thank you.